Hey guys, so I just got back from seeing The Last Voyage of the Demeter, uh, the new Dracula movie. Um, yeah, after like a few, a few, or last few movies being Mobland and Made to the Trench, it's kind of reassuring to finally go watch a movie that I actually was looking forward to. <laughs> um, hell, only really movie uh, over the last week, a couple weeks, that was actually any good was uh, TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Even though I did have that one guy in my comments section tell me, Ninja Turtles sucked! I'm like, alright, sure. I'm like, hey, it, it, to each his own. If you, everybody's right to their own opinion, even if it's wrong. Um, but yeah, I was like, it's kind of nice going, like, going to see a movie that you're actually looking forward to. Um, doesn't seem to be happening a lot lately, but, uh, yeah, this was a movie that I got a trailer for quite a few times, and I was like, yeah, that looks interesting. I like the concept. Like, at first, when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh, it's one of my favorite kinds of horror movies where... It comes off as one thing, it starts off as one thing, but then turns into a horror movie ha halfway through it. I'm like, okay, it's, it's one of those kinds of movies. I'm like, ah, oh, cool, that's one of my favorite kinds of movies. Like, you know, stuff like From Dust Till Dawn. Um, so I don't want to stick off the top of it. From Dust Till Dawn's like the most famous uh, case, but like those kinds of movies, like where you get, or Don't Breathe is a good example too, um, where you have. A movie that starts off as one thing but then becomes another thing halfway through it or something like that. Um, like from Dust to Dawn was a, like this really good gritty crime thriller and then all of a sudden halfway through a movie it becomes a straight up horror movie, vampire movie. Um, but then I did a little bit more research about this movie and that it was a movie that apparently has been like in the works for like decades. Like going back all the way to like when Francis Ford Coppola made a it made that Bram Stoker's Dracula, they were talking about this movie like holy shit! That was like ninety two of like god damn man, um, and this is like basically a movie based off a chapter in the book of Dracula. That's different. I'm like that's a different approach. I'm like I give them credit they're doing like kind of a different approach to the story of Dracula that hasn't been done before. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to do any refresh, anything fr uh, fresh as far as Dracula. It's been, it's been done to death by this point. And I thought the trailers looked fun. I thought, you know, worst case scenario it might be just an average movie. And yeah, I got to enjoy the hell out of this. I had a fun time. I'm not, is it perfect? No. Is it flawless? No. But I had a fun time. So I, by the end of it, I was like, you know, for all its flaws here and there, some of the flaws that this movie has, I had a good time. That's, that's more than I can say about some fucking movies lately. The fuck, I heard my phone go off. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, I, I mean... This movie isn't really a very heavily character-based movie, even though you spend a lot of times with these characters, and they are, uh, you get some development with these characters. They are really stereotypical stock characters. They really are. Um, they're just there for to be fresh meat, basically. <laughs> a lot of them just there to be fresh meat. Uh, you got the religious, or you got the the lead who's this guy who's an all-knowing very well-educated black man who uh gets on board the ship because uh because they're looking for some help and then you got the captain who's this is his last uh sail last time he's going to captain the ship which just spells doom right off the bat for this poor dude uh, and then you have his underling who is about to become the captain of the ship, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, and then you got the little boy and a little dog and a dog, 
And, like, you get enough of a gist of these characters. You're like, okay. And that you know who's who and what they are and stuff like that. Um, is it, it's not, like groundbreaking like as far as like the characterization of this movie but they're fine for what like i said i there's a lot of horror movies i see that don't have like the greatest characters but i still love the fuck out of them um i love the set i love the idea like i said this movie delivers on what it promises and that is dracula on a boat <laughs> basically that's what it is it's dracula haunting these guys on a fucking boat and caught, just terrorizing the shit out of him and killing them in pretty bloody and gruesome ways here and there. There's some pretty good death scenes in this movie. For the most part, it's pretty. It seems a lot of practical effects, which I can again, I will always appreciate the hell out of uh, the practical effects. Anytime any horror movie uses practical effects, I appreciate the hell out of. I thought the gore effects were pretty good. Uh, I love the design of Dracula. I thought it was a lot of, a lot of, uh, you could tell a lot of influence from Nosferatu. Uh, that was really nice, cool to see. It, it, I love the design of Dracula in this movie. I thought it was pretty well done. I mean, this movie is not suspenseful because really it just spells, I mean, it literally spells out. It, it's one of those movies that opens. W with how with the end it opens with the end of the movie where after the basically the ship has crashed and they look on the ship and there's nobody there you're like okay well you know pretty much everybody's fucked <laughs> um and yeah pretty much all, everybody is fucked um so it's not really exactly suspenseful but i'll give this movie credit <laughs> it fucking uh Hell, the movie's the first kill in the whole movie is they kill the fucking dog. Which, I'm sure that might piss some people off. I mean, Dracula kills the dog. And that's the first to go, is the dog. And I was like, aw, that was Huckleberry. Look at that poor little fuck. That was the, the dog's name, is Huckleberry. And then, uh, yeah, spoiler alert. The kid, the, the kid doesn't have a happy ending either. And I'm like, huh. That was a really tragic scene. That was a really good scene. I like what to see what the kid, what happens with the kid is really well done. Um, I will say as far as complaints, like I said, the characters are not great and, you know, nothing original. I, I did like, oh yeah, I did like the, the use of the, like there's a whole point in the movie where they talk about if you need something, you have to knock on a ship and you can hear it. Like it'll echo throughout the ship, and somebody will answer it for you or answer your knock. And, uh, yeah, so they use that a lot, and it's pretty well done. It's really effective, and it comes back at the end, too. I like the, the use of it at the end where it comes back at the end. I like, I like the use of like sound, like the knocking sound and stuff. I thought that was really well done. Um, the CGI, there's some CGI in this movie that's pretty fucking bad. Uh, there's obviously, because it's a vampire movie, they, they're like, there's moments where characters get exposed to sunlight that have been bitten that explode. And, man, if there's one thing that always usually looks really bad in CGI, it's usually fire. And this is not... And there's no exception with this one either. Like, some of the fire effects in this are pretty fucking bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, that was a little bit distracting here and there. But honestly, like I said, I enjoyed the hell out of it for what it was. It exactly was what I expected it to be. And nothing more, nothing less. I had a fun time watching it. Also, at the same time, I was already in a good mood before the movie even started because I got a trailer finally for the trailer for uh, Saw 10, which comes out next month, and I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I don't care. I'm sure there's people like, oh, Saw sucks. Saw franchise is my favorite horror franchise. It's it's overtaken like movies. The horror, the Halloween franchise is my favorite horror franchise because at the end of the day, man, like. Saw 
there was like a period of time for like what two. I was thinking to myself while I was as I was coming home, I was like from like two thousand five to like twenty ten, where we got a Saw movie every fucking year, and no matter what I was doing, I went to every fucking screening, opening day screening or midnight screening. For the new Saw fran the Saw movie, new Saw movie, because I love the Saw movies, and I, 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 I make it, hell, I probably could make a whole video about my love for fucking Saw franchise, but I love, I have to get away for the ten tenth one. I love the fact that we're bas this is basically gonna be the second one. <laughs> Technically, is in the timeline gonna be the second movie of the Saw franchise, even though this is the tenth movie. Oh, God, I can get in the whole, like, the fucking continuity of this franchise is hilarious, but, um, yeah, I love it. Before everybody, I love it kind of almost ironically, but I also just love this franchise. I, I, I know how fucking ridiculous this franchise is. Don't, don't patronize me. I get it. It's dumb as hell. I still fucking love the Saw franchise. <laughs> I love the Saw franchise, even for its all its dumb faults. I love it. And I think that makes me even love it even more, if, is its dumb faults. But yeah, uh, yeah. Looking forward to that next month. Uh, so that's The Last Voyage of Demetri. Go see it. It's fun. Uh, this Monday, there's a Monday mystery movie. I don't know yet if I'm going to be going to see it, because I got to work the next day at 5.30 in the morning. And the Monday Mystery movie's at 7. It's only going to be an hour and a half movie, I think. And I believe it's going to be that... I'm pretty sure it's going to be that uh, Liam Neeson Retribution movie. Uh, which... Yeah. So, yeah. It, it would fit that bill. It's one of those movies that definitely would fit that bill if, if it was that movie. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if I will have a review, but I might... Or might not have a review for that uh, coming Tuesday, and then next week is Blue Beetle and Strays. And eh, we'll see how that goes. But in, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.